A heavyweight with surprising speed and tremendous power, Cain Velasquez has won almost every fight in his career the same way, by devastating knockout. Tonight, he'll be looking to let his hands go and show why he's one of the most dominant strikers on the planet. A longtime icon of the sport, Dan Henderson made the transition from Greco-Roman wrestling to mixed martial arts and has competed against the best on the globe ever since. With victories over Vitor Belfort, Vanderlei Silva, and Henzo Gracie, he's made a career out of facing and defeating legends. What is up, my fellow YouTubers? Welcome to the second last first round matchup. And today, man, it's Dan Hender Henderson going up against Kane Velasquez. And holy cow, man. Could Kane beat the dark horse in this tournament? Not a lot of people are talking about Kane Velasquez. And um, man, he's pretty lethal. Definitely has the tools to beat Brock Lesnar. Remember that fight? Holy cow. I never thought that I would ever see somebody stronger than Brock Lesnar and Kane obviously he didn't look as strong but when the fight happened he was definitely stronger than Brock shrugged him off a bunch of times and then his striking was just so polished compared to Lesnar's it's almost such a shame that Kane has been just hampered with injury after injury and it really destroyed his career in my opinion let's not beat around the bush but um, in this fight he is healthy and he is ready to go going up against Henderson. Holy cow. Some people could would say, you know what, he may be the most decorated pride fighter with uh, two championship belts at the same time, right? Was it the welterweight and middleweight pride title? So let's see how he does, man, against Cain Velasquez. Remember, he's going to need to... Shrug him off. You know Kane at some point is going to go for a couple takedowns. So he's got to be ready. But Kane's got to be careful because the Hendo bomb. Do you know about that bomb and that right hand of Henderson's? That hand. Ask uh, Michael Bisbee. Remember that from the finale of The Ultimate Fighter? That bomb could stop fights in a heartbeat. And the cool thing about Henderson, didn't he stop Fedor? When they fought, was it in Strike Force or Bellator, man? I can't remember, but it was that right hand that just shut off Fedor. And that was nuts, man, to see that. But here we go. Kane Velasquez in this game. He's 9 0. <laughs> oh, man. He's not very tall, though, eh? For, for a heavyweight, only 6 foot 1. And he doesn't even hit the whole heavyweight limit. At 240, but remember, that's probably his like the weight where he excels the most. Even GSP was saying too, he's like, if I fought at 185 again, he's like, I would have just stayed at my natural weight instead of trying to gain muscle, because he felt like at his welterweight weight, you know, he felt like he was at his best. But uh, Henderson, <laughs> Henderson had a really good career inside the UFC, man. He really did. You know, the fight that he had with Rampage was a good back and forth battle. Um, but then he continued to fight and continued to see success. And then obviously he moved on from the UFC, continued to fight. And um, he was just uh, very competitive in all of his fights. It's that chin that he has. I'm not saying the chin because it's like a, a big chin. I'm saying that he was able to take punishment and keep on going. And it kept him in fights later on in his career. So here we go. Look at Herb, the young Herb Dean, ready to throw it down. I think they're going to touch gloves. Oh, yeah, they both touch gloves, both guys, good sportsmen. And um, we are ready to see what happens. In my opinion, I see Kane winning this fight just through his wrestling. But I don't know. Can he take that Hendo bomb? And right away, Hendo not wasting any time not wasting any time going with that crazy bomb uh oh oh that's gonna make kane think twice about going for takedowns wow oh nice flip but he's ah oh. 
Cain has been bathing in baby oil or has been lathering himself up in Vaseline because Hendo had that flip right there and then he slipped right off of him. So great start up until the point where Hendo lost position here and he's got to be careful. Kane's got some of the best top game stats that you could ever uh, see in this game, man. Ooh, nice. Flipping around, going for shots. This is classic Kane, you know? Embrace the grind, just grinding on his opponents, hitting them up with shots, not giving him any opportunities to breathe, and that's how Kane fights. It's so cool seeing this game that's pretty old Seeing a guy fighting exactly how he fought in his prime. Just constant pressure, constant movement, you know, just putting it all on. Oh, no. And Hendo looks like he may be done. Wow. Devastating ground and pound. And Hendo, oh, I was going to say, Hendo is not really, you're not really seeing a lot of pushback. He's got to get this fight back on the feet. That's where we were, we were seeing the success from Hendo. He's got to get this fight on the feet. Can't be playing Kane's game here. Just he's got to push off. Oh, he's got the plum. There he goes. Oh, but don't sleep on Kane striking. Wow, he's got to be careful though. The one thing is, <laughs> I love how Kane, with that amazing chin, is also able to just go right in the pocket and just throw throw it down. Nice duck under, followed by a lead uppercut by Henderson. Oh no, but he walked right into that right hand. And is he gonna make it? It's over. Quick work. Kane Velasquez makes quick work of Henderson. Oh my gosh, and he's gonna face the winner of Nagara versus Aldo that will be coming up in a few days. All right, people? Oh, man. Great performance by the Dark Horse, man. I'm calling him the Dark Horse. He has a chance of doing good things in this tournament. Wow. What a knockout. But anyways, guys, that was a quick one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome day, and I'll catch you in a few days. Just come back in a few days, and the next video will be popped out. All right, people? I'm out of here, guys. Got to run. This is Ricky J, man, for Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome. What is this UFC one? No rules. Don't throw in the towel, baby. Don't throw in the towel. Don't do it. I can't get out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, brother, from Ricky J Sports. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. I'm Fabricio Verdum. We're doing an online rank match, baby, against Ben Rothwall. And I am pumped up. I'm ready to go. I'm on a tear, man. I'm on a tear with Verdum. Doing great. Taking names, man. Just taking name after name. Even though I did lose to a Division 8 guy. Man, I should post that. Let me know if you want to see... In the comment section below, if you guys want to see some of my losses, man. Because I feel like these days, my only losses are against Division 8 guys. And I put up a good fight. As I showed you guys in my previous video a couple weeks back, I put up a good fight against some of these Division 8 guys. And sometimes I win. And as always, sometimes I lose. I just wanted to see who I was facing. Because sometimes I just hope and pray that it's Marshall Mind. Oh yeah, I said it for the first time and we're waiting for an opponent. Come on, boy. Did you pay for your internet? Did you send in your bill because we are ready to rock and you're stalling, you're buffering? No, but I just always check to see. I look up to Marshall Mind. I think he's a fantastic UFC player and it would be an honor to fight him one day and I feel like I'm coming into my own, people. I feel like I'm really finding my game. To be honest, though, my clinch game is what I'm working on. I feel like I'm getting better, thanks to a lot of you guys. And I'm in training in the dark dungeon. Look at this guy. He's playing possum, the old possum technique, pretending he's not there. But, yeah, facing Marshall Mine one day would be great. Even MMA game. Where is MMA game? I'm ready to face you too, big guy. That would be awesome. People call it the super fight. But anyhow, let's get down to business right here. We're taking on Rothwell. And against a guy like Rothwell, you know it's going to be a brawl. But he could be going for takedowns too and clinches. You never know. 
So right now, I'm really trying to keep my composure. Oh, man. And keep my distance, even though Rothwell does have some length on him. Oh, and he's hurt already. And he went down. Oh, my gosh. He went down. And I denied the takedown. And I just got to keep on pressuring this guy. Wow, what a start. Oh, and he's trying to clinch. He's in desperation mode. He is in desperation mode right here. And he's doing a good way of recovering, but I'm still tagging him. That's what I want to do. Still want to touch him. When you rock a guy up top, you know, it's always good to hit him up with the jab or the cross or the straight. Just touch him here and there. Keep that, <laughs> keep that face red on the diagram. And that's what I'm trying to do right here. Oh, yeah, baby. His head is red. This may not last very long. Oh, but I can't get tagged like that. See, that's another thing. You don't want to overcommit on your punches just because you rocked them once. It's early on in the fight. It's early on in the fight. Oh, and he's reaching for the hook, man. He is reaching for those Christmas cookies. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice way to sway away from my strikes there. So this guy seems to have recovered. But I have to still maintain my pressure, man. Oh, a little uppercut right there. Oh, and he's leaning with that lead uppercut. That lead uppercut, I could see it a mile away, too. You definitely could see it a mile away. Oh, nice combo. Another uppercut. And his stamina's low, and he's going for that desperation takedown. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and he's going for those strong step strikes. And he's not blocking that uppercut. He's not seeing it. Switching stands. Oh. Now, as long as I have a lot of stamina, and this guy's stamina is going down, I don't mind. I don't mind him hitting me here and there with those strong strikes right there. Give him some confidence, and then we'll knock him down. Oh. And the crazy thing about using the heavyweights, people, is they slow down by the end of the first round. They're gassed out, man. Ah, oh, and I tried it, man. I tried it. I was way out, though, and he... That's another thing I'm finding. If you are have good, have a good sense of balance and someone tries to go for a takedown, it's easy to stuff it if you're not over-committing on your punches or kicks. So if you're standing stationary and somebody comes for a takedown, it's easy to stuff, man. It's easy to stuff. But definitely, that was my round right there. And Benny Rothwell is all cut up. And let's see if I can continue this. I feel like I'm better than this guy. And you know, let me know in the comment section below when you guys feel like you're better than your opponent. It's really, it takes a couple minutes and you know that it's a winnable fight. And I feel like if everything goes as planned like in the first round, this fight is mine. Oh. But Ben could take a punch, man. Oh, and he's just, he's in desperation mode with those crazy strikes. And I'm inviting that. I like that. Counterfight. Oh, man. Yeah, you got to mix it up, man. Oh, and he's starting to feel those kicks, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and his punches are coming slow. And he's trying to mix it up, but I know his game. He's shooting way out and going for those crazy strikes. Oh, and he, oh, he slipped on a banana peel. Oh, and I see his strikes, and he is gassed. He is gassed. Oh, and down he goes. Oh, it's got to be over. See, I could jump right in right there. Oh, and uses the cage to get up. Oh, oh, he gets it. He gets it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What? I can't get out of this. What is this? What is this UFC one? No rules. Don't throw in the towel, baby. Don't throw in the towel. Don't do it. I can't get out. I cannot get out of this. What is going on? And my head is red as a cherry. <laughs> what? Have you guys ever seen? This is a glitch. Everything is gray on my little diagram. See that HUD right there? 
everything is great and I can't get out and I'm gonna lose and I was dominating this guy don't get knocked out brother don't fall asleep it's like nightmare on Elm Street you don't want to fall asleep <laughs> stay awake for doom stay awake for doom oh my gosh I've never seen this before in over a thousand fights stay awake brother <laughs> think of a happy place think of a happy place think of picking strawberries in a garden or better yet going to Dairy Queen for an ice cream or how about getting a burger and large fries oh oh my gosh oh my gosh people see if he strikes me to the head I'm gonna be out I gotta keep on moving you gotta keep on moving oh my gosh I can't let him strike me here oh I am in desperation mode the panic button is being pressed people oh no I, oh I got a block Oh, and now I definitely have to run for the fields. Hop the fence. <laughs> Call a timeout. There's something in my eye. Oh, my, man. I just got to survive. Oh, I can't take any damage here. I just need to survive. That was the craziest, probably the craziest thing that's ever happened to me in this game. <laughs> How did they not stop the fight? It's like UFC 1, man. No rules. In this fight, there are no rules. Remember back in the day, in UFC 1... They would only stop the fight if your corner if your corner threw in the towel or if, or if you gave up. There were no rules. And UFC 1, man. I, I think even UFC 2, the referee could not stop the fight. And then they changed the rules. And this is crazy. Now this fight has changed. It went from me being so confident and so ready to take this guy out. And then the game glitched out right there. It's not my opponent's fault. And he capitalized. And he for sure, I think, won that second round. With all those crazy strikes. <laughs> he should have stayed in that spot. But good on my opponent. I got to give respect to him for getting out of it after a while. He knew, man. He knew the game was kind of stuck right there. If you're an EA Sports programmer, man, what happened right there? Let me know, man. This is nuts. So I'm trying to be as technical and as distant as possible. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. How did he get that takedown? Man, I am fighting with emotion right now. I thought the fight was... Uh, no, I thought I was going to win the fight. Then I thought the fight was over, and now I'm in a battle. It's a grind, man. Remember Goldberg saying, so you want to be an ultimate fighter. Oh, by the way... This UFC event on Friday will be Goldie's last UFC. Can you believe that? They're letting him go, apparently. Something like that. And I, I wonder who's going to be filling him, filling his spot, which is crazy. I know Goldberg makes a lot of mistakes, but sad to see him go. And let's win this for Goldberg, man. This UFC 1 style of fight. Is this guy out? What is this? This is no holds barred, man. There's no rules. I should kick him in the groin or punch him in the groin like Keith Hackney did. Remember how Keith Hackney did that? I think it was UFC 4 or 5. He was punching to the groin, and that's legal. And this is anyone's battle right here. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Maybe nobody can get knocked out in this fight. Yeah, nice little combo. Oh, and down he goes. Are they going to throw in the towel? He's still alive. Oh, and it's over. Unbelievable. I'm going to call this video No Holds Barred or There Are No Rules, man. Who knows what I'm going to call it. But that was insane how the game glitched out. Verdum did not go to bed, man. He stayed awake. And the referee did not stop the fight. If this was real UFC rules, that fight should have been called, man. Because I was not intelligently defending myself. Nor was I mounting any form of defensive stance or defensive positioning or trying to get on the offense. You know how it is. But I managed to survive and I managed to squeak out a victory and then finish in style with a nice KO. <laughs> Anyhow, people, also let me know in the comment section below what's the craziest glitch you've seen in this game. Have you ever seen something like this? This is insane, man. And enjoy the fights on Friday, baby. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And as always, you are awesome.